Hello everybody, welcome to Era BB week number 10. We've got Drac Black Claw with his Lizardmen versus King Boo and his Skaven. Drac has a wizard and that's all. Um, both got a map obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Drac's got 12 players and King Boo has 13. Starting with a Natty on the field, looks like he's just going to one turn then. Blitz a skink in one turn. Oh, maybe he's not going to one turn. <laughs> he's, there's a defensive blitz. And there's an instant 2 on the ball. Reroll comes in, obviously. Oh, diced. Comedy mega. Absolute comedy mega. What a start that would have been. Just instantly killing the, the Natty would have been glorious. I'm going to elf screen here, I guess, to cut off the chances. Yeah, that's pretty good defense against the Natty for this turn. But, I mean, obviously, he can just run around, do whatever he wants. He's rats. I guess there is the wizard, right? There is the wizard, so... With the super skink. And maybe the super skink should have stayed central. I don't think the... I don't think these elf screens were necessary. Like, I knew he was going to do it, but I don't think they were necessary. If the skinks had stayed central, I still think this is the same kind of play. And then you, you can bolt and get in with your super skink. Like, in and out. If the super skink is here, then you bolt, blitz, and you're like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you've got the ball in the cage. Tackle mighty. Gets to hunt skinks. So we could free up the crocs here. Uh, could have freed up the crocs here. So, just on the off chance, people who are new to uh, lizards or watching, the play with the, what you want to do with with uh, shouldn't tell uh, shouldn't tell my uh, potential NAF finalist this, <laughs> but what, what you should try and do with uh, lizards is, you know, use your lizard men to free up, use your big guys to free up your other big guys at various points. So this guy could have punched him, this guy could have punched him. And then the Crocs could have blitzed this gutter runner, three dice, base the other gutter runner, and then you've got tail on the ball, and you can scream the other skinks and stuff. Very powerful. Um, so yeah, always be looking to how you can free up, how you can free up your souls. Um, in this case, you could free up his, uh, they can chain him in, okay, well that's just as good, isn't it? Okay, so that was just as good a play there. He chained him in. And in fact, maybe better, right? Well, it is better because he's not he's not failing the blitz on the one. He's just going stupid on the one. That's just the same. It could have gone somewhere else though. It could have been better. It actually could have been better. Than, uh, you could have maybe blitz with a skink there, right, and then use the Saurus to go somewhere else. Even maybe just drop onto this because uh, he had two guards. So he, that blitz could have been from a skink, like this skink maybe. And then he could have dropped a Saurus on this guy. It really needs to drop a Saurus on this guy. And the, these could be placed more aggressively, right? This could be more up here. Oh, he rolls a one. And he could have fireballed first. Yeah, three gutters, including the natty. Could have just fireballed first. But if the if the skinks had been central last turn, this would have been an amazing, an amazing fireball turn. And, uh, yeah, skinks, skinks should be in this space here. Make it so he's got to go back. I mean, they're, they're probably doing enough there, but I just want them further forward. You, you want to, like, you, you've got this skink, right? With this skink, you've got real good chances. Oh, well, he's just going, he's going forward anyway. So, yeah, you really want them further forward. This is uh, a bit wild, isn't it? Not what I would have done. 
phone hey you got a bolt right you got a bolt oh, I was gonna say he rolls a one on the bolt but it was a one on the bonehead um, this guy can just blitz. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can just blitz anyway. <laughs> just straight up blitz. I don't think you need a GFI to get the mighty blow hit, just, just instantly blitz on 2 d But if, again, I think, like, you know, if you bolt, then it just secures everything a bit more. this. I hate this. He's on the sideline. He's on the sideline. Like, he should have definitely just dodged through right on two. He's got stunt and just dodged through here. He was about here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could have been like here. Something. Much safer. Much safer if he was here. Sexy lizards. Well, the blitz is coming here. Oh, oh, that skin that this guy isn't coming back. You could have gone like center. I guess he's still got time to turn him over and get like it's only turn three, right? He's got plenty of time to use this guy to sack the ball back, like Horns, Rackle Strip. Is an absolute tormentor of skinks. Tackle diving tackle does nothing. Oh no, just diving tackle. I thought one of the uh one of the Saurus had tackled for a second. Where are his guards? He's got two guards, one's the Crocs. So he's going to be very hard to keep this safe on this game. But amazing result for the uh, Lizards getting the ball on him. Amazing gash. And I guess you can just like do like a mega cage, right? Like just a mega bunker. Fill in, fill in two, like two sides. Just literally move him to there and fill in there as well. So it has to be with guard. No, this is incorrect. Incorrect. You have to fill in both of these squares, so he just can't hit you. In my opinion. Has, so, you know, I'd force the, the hit into the guard. That's what I would do. Because this guy's at five. And he's just going to go into the guard anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but he could have made it a 1D, right? He could have just gone in on a 1D. Uh, he chose to do it on an uphill, but he could have done it on a, He could have just easily done it on a 1D. Um, it was a 2 1 win for Chunter. It's really hard for him to prevent the ball again. I guess he's got these two skinks and the crocs and a free one or two saurus. Pretty nice bounce here. Whoa! This is rowdy as fuck. And he powers him! He kills him. This is pretty rowdy because obviously this guy can just uphill and then he's got guard on the ball. So you want to reinforce that, but he's got a tackle, so you don't want to reinforce theirs. So you've got to reinforce everywhere else. Still, he still got him when he didn't kill him. When you said nice nightmare, I thought he must have killed him. 
this horn's rackle strip is insane. Vacation for your eyes, yep. Oh, he's got the blitz to come, okay. Oh my god, get the AV break. Dead! And Apple's gone! No, no, he just didn't Apple him, he just didn't Apple him. He's just like, fuck him, don't even like him. He's had two, dead, dead, dead. Doesn't, uh, didn't reinforce the corner, so he could have gone for an uphill into a 2D on the board, but didn't. Kaz's him back. Badly hurt. Is, is he gonna blitz to get him away from this diamond tackle, I guess? Nope, he's gonna dodge. Oh man, now you can cage around the crocs and the, and the guard to have a guaranteed decent cage. Ooh. I don't like blitzing the wrestler with your guard, right? You could have just blitzed him with somebody else. Also, these aren't on opposite cage corners now. I want, I want guard on opposite cage corners or fill in the back of the cage. Fill in the back of the cage here is good. Don't let rats get a 2D on you. <laughs> In fact, guards at the front and then fill in the back might just be better, eh? Ah, and switch the down tackle onto him, that's pretty nice. Man, what a drive, what a drive for the lizards. Out of re both sides out of rerolls. Finally gets to blitz this king. Does nothing. You do nothing. <laughs> One of the GFI. Oh man. No reroll's very sad, isn't it? So he's got to uh he's gotta be careful about what he's actually blocking here. And like you know, safe movements and everything first. Like so like just do no more blocks, right? Just cage now. Cage now. Cage now. <laughs> cage now. <laughs> Cage now. Don't have a loose cage against rats. Against Adge, Ad, well, either Adge 5 Wrestle Rats or Horns Rackle Strip Rats. Do not have a loose cage. Okay, okay, no, so he, he needs to go one forward. He's in the wrong square. So here we go. This is the, uh, this is the Venger Bus, right? And the point of the Venger Bus is to not get your guy 2 deed by this chap. <laughs> so, you want the guard, the guard was at the back, so you have to have the ball carrier next to the guard, so that if he hits from this square, he's got guard, and if he hits from any other square, he's got a, uh, somebody helping him, but one of these two should be guard, right? Like, if this is just all wrong. They, they, these need to be swapped, or the guards need to be swapped, because right now, this guy stands there, and he comes in for 2D on the ball, which is... Not what you want. <laughs> so yeah, that was a mistake. They had to be switched. Diced. I mean, it doesn't have to go for this, but like, if he does. I mean, also, he should have just put this guy in here <laughs> and then got 2D on the ball if it were. Move the whole cage first. And get a massive. 
massive gang pile, or as big as you can. I think I would have just kept the cage around this guy, right? Like, kept the cage around him for like about four assists, four or five assists, something. That's okay, three assists, I guess, that's okay. He's not fouling? Whoa. Oh, I don't know, I, I guess he's had two skins cast. I guess he has had two skins cast. And I guess having diamond tackle on him is pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, controlling him with diamond tackle is fine. Yeah. This is this is better than fouling him, but you just want to fucking foul the bastard, don't you? <laughs> Let's be honest. You really want to foul the bastard. That's KO'd. Not trying to stop the score. So, glorious half for Drac. I mean, offense is hard versus these bastards. But, you know, going in 1 0 up at half time on his drive is just amazing. And with the whiz in hand. So if you get sacked, you can whiz to get it back and stuff. Really nice. Incredible half. King Boo at the top end of the table. Drac at the bottom. But that was a wonderful half for him. His two guard lizard man team. <laughs> now I'm pressing Q to change the view. Like it's it's terrible, isn't it? How bad his team is. Like no, I'm not having to go at him, but like he's got two guards, a mighty blow block, a break tackle block. Like the just development is not there at all. Offset. I hate the offset here. Just get in scoring two, right? If you if you the if you the skinks here, get in scoring two. Nice big safe cage, layered guards. Get in, get it done. I don't think I would have re even. I don't think I would have even uh, put much over here. Just if he gets a blitz, you lose. You know, if you get a blitz, you lose. Um, put like you know something over there, but then really try and push down here and cage up here. Man, he hasn't got much. Has he? You know, he hasn't got much. Cause that kill stayed out, and he's got two skins cast. So. Actually, he hasn't got many players. Nine players. I still think you have to do that. I think you have to just try and push down there as much as you can. Destroys the dirty player. I would have also kept him like on the line right, because then you've got a safe block here. And then do the blitz at the end. It doesn't really the blitz doesn't really matter. But securing the line is more important. Also it's guaranteed, right? So you just do that hit first. And then you can secure the ball, have a bit nice big cage, and this guy could have done the blitz last. Just going in again. Why doesn't he block him? Why doesn't he stop the assists? <laughs> He's seen too much chunder, obviously. I don't know how you can't just throw in a lino to make this 2D on the ball, but... I guess it makes the recovery and stuff, like, you know, the play afterwards may be better, but... I really, really do want to just, you know... Move in and tag that guy. Now he's tagged him afterwards. <laughs> yep. 
Edge 5 not going for it. I mean, obviously, Edge 5 gets better dodges through. Oh, he's going to dodge all the way around. Oh, my God. Disgusting two heads. Oh, that's disgusting, isn't it? Just goes all the way around. Gets the pass. Oh, shit. And there you go. Bolt works. Blitz this guy. Oh. Kaz is in. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. But no, no reroll. Could have done some safe moves over here, like blocking with the crocs, right? With block. Oh, he's moving nine, so he's he doesn't even need me at the GFI. It is, yeah. Try and block the Fox free, actually, right? If you roll a power here. So again, this is where like he could have blocked free. Could have blocked with that first. Uh, no, I couldn't see that blocking. So. But yeah, I should have blocked with him. And then if he powers him, he gets the Fox free to come in and help. Like maxing blocks is obviously normally pretty good. But in this situation, like lizards, it's all about. All about getting your other big guys free to do stuff. Well, not all about, but... I guess he's just going to keep throwing throwing men at the cage until something happens. <laughs> that seems to be his style. Again, refuses to cancel the assists. Full, full chunderism. Oh, this is, the Saurus catches it. That might be GG. Except he's got strip, right? He's got two strippers. But now what you have to do is the lizards is uh, try and get your guards as off the cake on. This is perfect. The play here is he blocks, he blocks, he follows, Blitz comes in on him, he blocks, and then you just go here in a massive fucking meat cube. Massive, just meat cube, full meat cube it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine by nine, Saurus. Nine by nine, Saurus box, let's go. That's, that's, that's what should have happened. <laughs> Just full nine by nine, absolute meat cube. But now he doesn't have the he doesn't have the guards on him, so he will get to uphill him. And King Boo sure has shown that he's willing to uphill, <laughs> so it's very dangerous. For Drax still. He wants to put his super skink in like here or something, right? Yeah, in the back would be safest. Yeah, Blood Bowl 2 is so much better than things like that, yeah. Now he's tagging them. Whoa. Watch out. Here we go. Dodge in works again. Uphill gets the push and the strip. And the bad thing about putting him in the back was it means he can put him off to the side. Whereas if he like, if you put him that like here, you would have had to push him to there, and then maybe like, or maybe he's out here. Oh yeah, the like, in behind was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? Yeah, it's it's crazy, isn't it? Like you know, and it's. It is worth that these aren't crisp and stuff, right? Like the model's good, but like the graphics aren't crisp, are they? They aren't as crisp as Blood Bowl 2. But and everything's all a bit blurry, but it just looks so much fucking better. It's crazy actually, because the Crocs does look good. It's it's almost too subtle, right? 
They're almost too subtle, the, uh, the characters, like too blurry and too subtle. But the Christmas of Blood Bowl 3 uh, does look good, but then it's also harsh, isn't it? It's, the graphics are crisp, but then like, the game is like harsh. He's got to run all the way around here. Yep. Good. Didn't have to GFI, could have just, could have just gone here and pushed there. Oh my god, and then he didn't need to reroll either, so... Can we, uh, can we do this? Oh god. Right. The replays are much better on Blood Bowl 3, I'll give it that. Yeah, he's got to wrestle. So... Okay, so he goes stupid there. And then this is the blitz. So first of all, you can go one, two, three, four, five, and six there. You don't need to do a GFI at all because pushing here pushes him there. But the point of this one is so that you get the 3D afterwards, right? So then you can just bring in him and then 3D him afterwards if you don't get the pal. Um, also, you could have just gone in there and got the 3D first. Or you could have put the this skin could have come around here and gone straight for the 3D with the first one. Um, Especially as he's the block guy, right? So he can take the both down and get wrestles. If he if he takes the both down, he doesn't get wrestles. He ends the turnover, so he can't really take a take. He can't really take a both down. So yeah, you just wrestle that. Yeah. So yeah, you could have used one of the skinks to assist. But I didn't use them as well. So yeah, that was that was all kinds of wrong. Absolutely no need to reroll. Could have just taken them both down. And even if you didn't want to take the ball down, you push him into him and three deep with him. Yep. Yep. But you know, good in a good in a Penguin Academy kind of way, isn't it? To point out things that people can learn from. And now his wizard's gone on the on the trying to recover thing. Uh, this is the problem, right? He's only got nine players, and he's playing versus like not only a team with lots of tools, and but also like versus somebody who is not afraid to just come at the ball every single turn. So like, really, really had to go for as quick a score as possible. This guy stays out again. Pretty unlucky because it's pretty good having a diamond tackle guy. But there you go. <laughs> Yeah, so it was really, really tough to click, click, rat, click ball every turn. Really was difficult. <laughs> of course, dwarves is where the real skill in blood ball is. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that dwarves are the, the, the real skill of blood ball. Sometimes I click rat, click rat, click rat, times 26, and then the guy finally stands up. On the ball three. With one reroll, I hate making the blockless block, and then blitzing with a mighty blow. Just block with your mighty blow and make your, make your blitz at the end of the turn. A blockless block! Okay, he's got Mighty Blown and Gutter Runner, but, you know, if you're going to do that, just do it first anyway, right? Just run and do it first anyway. Really hate Block with Blown. But, I mean, it ends up looking pretty good here, doesn't it? The problem is, obviously, the rats can, uh, it's just such a deep kick, just unlucky, really. Probably should have, uh... The mighty blow should probably blitz the guy who's in contact with and come back. And then you could have had like a a line. Okay. You could have had a line here, like one here, one here, one here. So they're like taking the space where the rats want to take. But now the rats can go into this space and threaten your ball reconnection and everything. Oh, 
the one. So you can 3D this gutter. Kind of. And get back. Ish. Oh! Well, you can do a GFI. One reroll there. Probably shouldn't have done the GFI. Ah, but it's because you want to use the Crocs as the cage corner. But then you don't activate him, right? If you're doing that GFI to utilize the Crocs as a cage corner, then you don't GFI. Oh, sorry, you don't activate him. Yeah, Rats being goofy is pretty fun. Because these two can just both block these guys off. And then you and then your Crocs just doesn't even need to activate. It's better off not activating. But the GFI wasn't as good as these two blocking and then the Crocs just moving backwards anyway. So yeah, that was a bit shit that GFI. Salt on the cage. Nope. Fails the dodge in. So now you can scoot right past. Oh, no rerolls though. Look. This is one square further back now. It's got to make a block. He makes the block. Smooth sailing. Now you move the whole team forward. Don't blitz. Move the whole team forward. <laughs> move the whole team forward first. <laughs> Again, you can make this in H. You can make this a H cage, right? Skink in front, Saurus behind. You've got to make the dodges in. He's not. He's not scared of these dodges in at all. You've got to make them harder. And if you put, like, you could even put two there, right? Because he's got, he's got both sackers are here and here. So this guy could have been in the back there, and then he's got to run all the way around to get in the front of Saki. So, so this guy could have been here. Um, I mean, it probably wanted to be. It depends how far the. I didn't see how far the uh, things could go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just needs to uh, blutz. <laughs> Doesn't irrelevant block. Doesn't irrelevant block. And um, but gets the dub skulls anyway. So there you go. Dice. King Boo. Survives yet again by his opponent rolling a double one. <laughs> no, he would have lost. Oh, no, I guess he could have had the one turn, actually. Oh, Edge 5's got the ball. There's a natty here. <laughs> Easy. Very skillful rat play. There you go. Yep. So a loss turned into a win on double ones. And you know, he, he would have probably scored the, with a natty anyway, but yeah, that was a that was a tragic double score. But it was a pointless block, you know, and uh, if I know anything about pointless double ones versus this rat team <laughs> and pointless quad skulls the other day on in Blood Bowl 3, so there you go. I'm never ever gonna roll the dice before I score it ever again. If I have an automatic score, I'm never rolling another dice. And you know, that his was extraneous, right? He did have to roll dice to score, but just do those and don't do any extra ones, is, is my new motto. Um, but there you go, a great win for, for King Boo somehow, and uh, commiserations to Drac. And there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.